Now next, we're going to take these four-digit numbers and break them down into the parts they have, into the thousands and hundreds and tens and ones. This number, can you read it? 3,269. So it has three thousands and two hundreds and six tens and nine ones. That's the easy part. Now we're going to write it as a sum of its different place values. So I'm going to write it as 3,000 plus 200 plus 6 tens is 60 and plus 9. Okay? So here is the number now broken down. Okay? It is written in its expanded form, we say. How about this one? Let's do the same. What number is it? Ah, 5060. Matthew knows. 5060. It has five thousands. No hundreds. Six tens and no ones. And so when I write it as a sum, I have five thousand and then no hundreds and then six tens, which is sixty, and then no ones. Now over here I have some four-digit numbers, numbers with thousands, that are written as sums. And we need to write them in the normal way. 6,000 plus 70 makes 6,070. But how do you write it? Okay, keep in mind you will need four digits. 6,000 and then here comes the hundreds digit. How many hundreds? No hundreds. And then you write the 70, or 7 and 0. How about 8,000 plus 50 plus 9? Okay, again, if you feel this is difficult, then write yourself four lines for the four digits. 8,000 here, and then the hundreds. But there are no hundreds, so 0. And then 5 tens and 9. How about this one? Now those parts are in scrambled order. 20 plus 5,000 plus 6. Okay. 5,000, right? And 20 and 6. And then the 0 for the missing hundreds. Lastly, we do something similar. My number is already written here. And here it is written as a sum. But one of the parts is missing. 4,020 and something makes 4,720. Can you see what's missing? 700 is missing. How about here? 3,000 plus something plus 7. And this number is 3,087. You can just hear it. It's 80, right? 80 is missing. And then something plus 500 plus 2 plus 50. And over here we have 2,552. Okay, 500 is there. 2 is there. 50 is there. So what's missing is the 2,000, right? Yeah, this is not difficult. Okay, well done with this lesson.